Greetings and salutations. I'm switching it up this week. Welcome to the Gamer Jets Duo Podcast number four, 14. Um, I have with me, as I do, almost every always, week. the man of the week, every week, Eric Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> that is your new <laughs> title. Yeah. That is your title. I'm, you, you will be known as that forever. So, <laughs> let's see. This is episode 14, chugging along, man. 14. We've done 14 of these. Yeah. For 14 weeks in a row. Crazy. Like, we haven't really... I don't count that one week as missing a week. I don't count it. I don't count it. But, so, technically, we, we haven't missed a week. Other than that one week that we missed. But, you know, it, it's unavoidable. We, we missed it. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we could have done it. <laughs> no, <laughs> we could not have done it. But, That's uh... True. No. We exactly, couldn't. you said it. That's right. Yeah, we couldn't have done it. Because it's, you know, not possible. We didn't have enough time... And the other thing we could, we also didn't have enough time or you know physical means. We, we were playing. We were too busy playing uh, Towerfall. We, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. we couldn't have like you. you had literally... everyone around. How many? How many USB ports do you have open on your computer? A lot. Do you know how to record more than one microphone at a time? Uh, it's possible. Do you know how? I it's not it something out. we could we were there for like three hours four probably four like yeah. we couldn't have thrown that together with like your headset mic and then this mic which isn't a great mic I don't know, pick up everybody home. else and then yeah i don't know dude i have four in the front and four in the back you have enough slots but you don't know how to do multiple microphones into one like put them together i don't know how to do that yeah, i know what you're this saying this mic but... would pick everyone else's up this right here, the one that I yeah, would use. True. So it's just, it was very complicated. It's, it was not going to happen. Like... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, were, you were like thinking about eating it there for a second. You're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we are a entertainment yeah. podcast where we mostly cover PlayStation, Destiny, gaming, comics, movies, TV. Lots of TV, actually. Fun stuff. Lots of, yeah. Lot, dude, we spent like half of our <laughs> podcast talking yeah. about TV or we... Also, you might notice, you might not notice, because it's it's slightly noticeable, but it's it's still noticeable, but it's not really noticeable. But you can if you look close enough. I used to have a light right there. I have a light right there, and I used to have one right there. So the left side of me is a itself. tiny bit darker. It's Two Face, the right side. There, the there's my light. It's Two Face. Look at it. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, dang, dude. That's yeah, that's I'm... definitely different. But yeah. um, you need to seriously get a new webcam, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's still I know. the blurry mess. Like, I don't know why, but on this webcam, you can barely tell when your eyes are open. That's well, that, that's, that's I'm down sometimes. Yeah, that that was okay. Yeah, that's very obvious. But like, just normally, it's kind of hard yeah. to tell, just because of the. And plus, blurry I have weirdness. I have blonde eyelashes and eyebrows, so it's hard to tell what I'm doing my facial expressions and everything because your camera is so weird dude you need to get a new one yeah but um i i, I will i also need and to replace I, that light i've watched our podcast so i'm like i'm making teddy upload this <laughs> <laughs> yeah like mine is no, no i feel bad I, I mean i'm i mean i'm so humble and everything but mine is mine is pretty dang nice but no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like the for me it's nice too the crazy like, thing is is that the best webcam that like you can buy is like 50 bucks like that th this is like pretty much the best webcam mm -hmm. and like 50 yeah. bucks so um i was like gonna get that i'm not gonna ever use anything else until right. you know 4k becomes a giant thing but um 4k yeah. camera 4K. oh my gosh 4K. that would be like that that's you know, gonna be a I'm thing in the future dude. Set, i'm gonna put aside 5k imagine this 5k dollars like we're slowly creeping up the ladder of tech so eventually we will have 4k web cameras and our internet will be good enough to show 4k webcams yeah we'll, we'll have everyone will have fiber oh my gosh um one day just imagine that dude one i'm gonna guess around 2020 ish around those no. Maybe a three-year spread. No, I think it's way longer. I, I think we have a lot. Well, 4K Dude, might be. Just think about it. <laughs> in 2000, the in, internet. In the year 2000, we had like the poopiest internet, and cell phones were barely a thing. Yeah. Uh, and then bang, iPhone. 
it revolutionized. Well, like, yeah, that so can it, happen, so but technology. like from the from the place I mean, where we are now, without something that's like super rev- revolutionary and cheap, I feel like it's gonna be a lot longer. Especially internet. There's nothing that we can do about internet other than like the government, like it's mm-hmm. and ISPs. So like that can take a while. Also, net neutrality. There was a big thing about that this week. Apparently, something happened in the favor yeah. of it. Yeah, Which is good. Um, it's that's literally I all know. I know <laughs> is that something happened in the favor of it. So rejoice, closer. A lot to... of people. I'm pretty sure it's. Um, I'm not 100 percent on it, but I feel like it's kind of like a screw capitalism type of thing. <laughs> Yeah. Because well, you have all these the ISPs going like, oh, hey, we have our different rates, and we want to uh, make people pay for this for that. Oh, you, um, you're, Wait, so you're in favor of the ISPs? Uh, I wouldn't say that because okay, they're, a lot are... Because they're horrible. I don't know. It's kind of a rough standing there. I mean, there. that's a good point. It kind of is, you know, up to them and up to the free market. But, like, yeah. at the same time... Oh, it's such a horrible thing to do. Like, our country would be stunted in growth because of that, because of the free market. Like, I don't know. I don't think it should be allowed. It's awful. It's an awful thing. Like, people in freaking, I'm going to throw out a country and see how good their internet is. How good is Sweden's internet? Let's see if their their internet is better than ours. Um, Sweden among top in internet download. <laughs> in internet download speed. You just say, um, what country has the best internet? Oh my gosh. What? Um, the United States placed just 26th in the an- in the analysis of the speed of worldwide internet connections we had 26 in the world like let's see the average download speed um the best is south korea apparently yeah I with 2202 kilobytes per second holy balls yeah and we're at like what like gamers 100 <laughs> A little more? No, we're at more than that. I think. Oh, yeah, the average down... This is averages. The average download speed in the United States was 606 kilobytes per second. I think that's fairly generous, too. But it's probably because of the couple of people, you know, that have, like, fiber that bumps it up a bunch. Right. But, yeah, we we do not have very good internet compared to other countries. And... Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that we're slowly getting better. Um... So, mate, matey, arg, I'm a pirate. So, what are you, what have you been playing this week? Oh, Destiny and Persona 4. Oh, snap, what, what's this Persona 4 you speak about? I've never yeah. heard of it. Um, it's a JRPG where you fight shadows and kill stuff a lot. Yeah, so basically, Eric got has my old Vita that I yeah. gave him because the battery is all weird and I, and I got a new one. So he found a charger, so it's working for now. And, um, yeah, it's working for now. So he, he bought Persona 4. And it's working Seriously, perfectly. people. I told you guys last week that I was, like, addicted to Persona. Wait, mm-hmm. Yeah, I started. Oh, I started Maybe. last week. I really got into yeah, it this week, this weekend though. But I did start last week. But um, yeah. So seriously, people, buy this freaking game if you have a video. Okay, like here's how much like <laughs> it's so. I good. can tell you, I despise turn-based games. Yeah, I this, thought I did too. This, but like, it's so good. <laughs> it's really fun. I I don't even know how to explain it. We said that last week. It's really hard to explain, but. Right, Man, yeah. it's good. I have I before I started playing in it or playing again, I had fifteen hours and now I have thirty five. <laughs> so cheeky. <Yeah>. But <laughs> but uh seriously, it is really, really good. It just 
it just makes me really want Persona 5 that much more. Like, right. holy balls, I want that game to come out. I yeah, really, really want When's it. the first time you heard about Persona 4? Uh, five? Uh, five? Yeah. First time I heard about 5? When they announced it on IGN, probably? Probably, yeah, I heard about it. At, yeah, I think they announced it last year at E3. And then yeah. I heard it. Er, I mean, I think it was in development for like a while, and pretty much everyone knew. But they had like a teaser right. last year at E3. Mm-hmm. That's when I heard about it, I guess. But that that trailer, dude, that trailer—it's so good. Like after like, playing four, or some yeah. Now you and understand. hearing the music and he- seeing the people and the characters, yeah. you can tell. Yeah, that's that. That's that. That's that. That's yeah, that. So. and you're like, but that's that is that from Persona Four, but. It looks, it looks awesome. so much better. <laughs> like right. Persona Four is a great game, but like, they're they're Persona Five is on PS4, so they can like harness harness the PS4. I still want to play it on Vita though. Oh. I know, right? I wish it was PS4 and Vita, like 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 how Rogue Legacy is. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, that would be amazing. That'd be so good. But um, I heard some people talking about it, and they were talking about how they. How they they were like, do you think it's a disadvantage for it not to be on the Vita for sales numbers and and how you're gonna enjoy playing the game? And they were like, at first I thought that, but then I realized that I don't know it. Like the reason that people liked Persona Four on the Vita so much is that you can take it anywhere. But Persona Five just means that you're not going to want to leave your TV. You're not going to want to go anywhere. So, like, you're just going to be freaking zoned out in that world, which I am yeah. freaking down for. That I'm I'm so excited. Like, I don't know. One of the best parts of that trailer that gets me really excited as to what's going to – what it's really going to be like is that, is that little platforming section where he's running across the chandeliers. The and then the sneaking. Those two parts are, like – what is that actually what, gonna what? be like in game? I'm I'm very yeah. excited. Very excited. But um yeah, so let me guess. Let me let me say. I just get I like most of this a lot of this podcast is really me and you explaining our gaming yeah. interests and talking about it. Just for no reason. So we're still on uh, what we've been playing, so Yeah, but I do wanna say because it's yeah. something that I've learned. I think I said this last week actually, did it? Did I talk about Nino Kuni last week on the podcast? I know I talked about it with you a lot, but we mentioned it. We didn't really go into depth or anything. Well, if I said this last week, bear with me. I really like playing Persona. Really makes me realize that I might like a lot of JRPGs, and Nino Kuni was like the best JRPG of the last. Yeah, and generation. I've heard that Nino Kuni is like even bigger. Yeah. Of a RPG. Yeah. Like it's insanely big. So I so. <laughs> really, I really want to play that game. The only problem is like, am I really going to want to be on my PS3 for that long? I don't know. I don't know, but I really want to. It's only 20 I bucks. The game, the game looks, looks great so in terms of graphics. Well, I think you want, I don't know. You want it looks so good. Um, Dude, yeah, have you heard of the site? It's literally called howlongtobeat.com. And you just type in a game oh. on the search bar, and it tells you, like, the average amount of hours to beat it. So wow. it's pretty freaking glorious. I use it all the time. Like, Persona 4. Let me let me, let me me show you what comes up. Persona 4 Golden. I'm going to go to 50 hours. Uh, Persona 4 Golden. Let's see. I'm opening it. Um, come on. It's not working. Go back. Oh. Gosh, dang it. Oh, it's back to the front. <laughs> Persona 4 Golden, the main story takes 70 hours to beat. Hmm. Ooh, snap. And then main plus wow. extra, which is like quests, is 84 hours. So, And for a completionist, it's 137 hours. <laughs> so, holy crap. <sighs> wow. Yeah, that's insane. Um, I was curious about how long Nino Kuni is, so I'm going to enter that real quick. If it's uh, mm-hmm. close. Dude, Nino Kuni's less than that. Nino Kuni's 45 and a half for main story average. Interesting. For main plus extra, it's 56. And for completionist, it's 92. So, yeah, it's it's along the same lines. I, I really, 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 really want to play it. <laughs> it 
If it was on PS4, I would so be down for it. Also, while doing yeah. some Googling for Nino Kuni, I found out that the the developer of Nino Kuni is supposed to be um working on them. Yeah, they're supposed to be announcing what they've been working on this year at E3. Like Yeah, E3, I think we're gonna see something from about the guys from Nino Kuni. Dude, I'm so and, excited for E3. And then I think we'll I'll probably of course see stuff for Persona Five. I don't normally get excited for E3. I'm just like a couple or maybe like a week before I'm like, oh man, E3's coming up. That's going to be cool. And then I watch the stuff about it. But I am, it is, it is March right now and I am freaking excited for E3. 2015 has so much like really good stuff. Like freaking Persona 5. Well, I don't personally believe, a lot of people don't believe that Persona 5, Uncharted 4, and Final Fantasy 15 are even gonna be in 2015, but they're all supposed to be in 2015. So, like, those three alone are, like, really, really good, like, nine and above games. So, I'm I'm very excited. Batman Arkham Knight. Oh, man. So, let's see. After that short, short short-ish tangent, um, what do, what have I been playing? I started off so for, um, I beat Transistor this past. Yeah, it was this past week. Yeah, I beat Transistor. It's oh, you said really that. Good. Did I? No, I don't know. I, say, I don't know, but I beat Transistor. No. Um, I played Destiny earlier in the week. Uh, oh, I put something up. Oh, Exo Zombies. Exo Zombies is really good. Mm. Really small, really small map, but still good. And also, dude. <laughs> It just, I don't know why Sledgehammer couldn't have partnered up with Treyarch to do right. something in the same universe. Because it's the same thing. But they put, like, it's the exact same thing, but the zombies are faster, of course. And the whole thing is just more fast-paced. And it's not the same thing, because the map's smaller. But, like, it's the same core experience. It's the same perks. It's the same bonuses. But they just have different names. So it makes everything feel like a really generic copycat version of original Call of Duty Zombies. It's really upsetting. Like, you pick up an insta-kill and it goes, hyper damage. I'm like, this isn't freaking hyper damage. Give me give me a break. What is this? And it just, everything feels wrong because of that. Like, the like multiplier. I'm like, this is freaking double points. I don't want to have to go pick up exo health. I want to go drink Juggernaug. Yeah. I want to go drink Speed Cola because it's a cola. Yeah, Exo Health is what Juggernaut is. They're all Exo upgrades instead of freaking perks. It's still not bad though, and it's a really good start. Like I feel like the next map should be a lot better. It'll be a lot bigger. Yeah. I played with Ryan and we played for like forty five minutes, and then, um, yeah, and then we died. I think it might have been while it was still going, but I was like, after forty five minutes, I was like, so Ryan, you you see. You remember all that part of the map? Like, all that you saw? He's like, yeah, that's it. Like, oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that, hmm. that, that makes sense now. I understand. <laughs> it's like, you can, you can learn a zombies map in 45 minutes. Like, I know every corner of that map. So, that's, that's a problem. Weird. That's a problem. Because freaking Moon, by the end of Treyarch's run on zombies, or at least last time... Moon was ginormous. Moon was the biggest zombie map by a ton. That map was huge. I still don't think I know all of Moon. And I played, like, hours. I played, like, five hours of Moon, probably. And I still don't think I know. But, um, yeah, I think they'll get better. I think the next map will be bigger. Uh, I think that's all I've been playing. Persona is just taking over my life. So, that's pretty much it. Um, trying to think if there's one other thing, but I think that's it. I played Ali Ali once. I played Ali Ali last Monday, and I freaking like I got really far. Like normally I can't even beat like one level. I beat like five, and I was like, yeah, all right, progress. <laughs> and then I just stopped because I was like, I don't want to mess with this. Um, that's it. That's it. So what have we been watching? How is Better Call Saul, mate? How is it? Um. Did you not see it? It's cool. It's cool. I don't care. You know, I don't I care. Mean, but 
I need to. Uh, I need to catch up on it. I probably yeah. will. I still need to catch up what? on Doctor Who. Oh my gosh! Freaking um, House of Cards is back. I'm oh so happy. yeah. Did you did you already binge watch all I, of it? No, I haven't. Okay. I haven't That's what most it. people are like. Well, House of Cards is out this week. See you guys on Monday. <laughs> so. Um. Yeah, I planned on it, but I mean, I just I didn't get around to it. But um, I saw the first episode and I was like, yes, this is amazing. <laughs> Doug is recovering from thing thing. Okay, good um, job, Doug. Good Doug, Doug, he's a trooper. Yeah, he, he pushed through his recovery. You the real MVP, Doug. You're yeah, MVP. he really, he really is. Right. He's a cool guy, but he also hired a, a stripper. I don't know why. He's okay. dumb. Sounds like he's, Barney. Oh, he's he's like really depressed, so he like hired a prostitute. But he's a congressman, or he's not a congressman, but he's like, he works in the federal government. He, yeah, see, when cool. you said that, I was like, it sounds like almost every episode of How I Met Your Mother. So I was like, oh, it's been... but then you started explaining, I was like, oh yeah, this show is way more serious. It's probably, that's probably a big deal in that show, you know? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um... It's showing like he, um, he's like uber depressed and oh, well, well... he's all things are prostitutes. Well, well, he's recovering. So, you know, good, good on you, Doug, I Dude, guess. Dude, like, he... Okay, I'll explain it. It's not much of a spoiler or anything, but he got into a really bad accident, and he recovered. And then, um... At, right after he recovered, he broke his arm while he fell in the tub. Right after he recovered. Right. So he didn't he didn't go to a doctor because he had to go see the president. <laughs> not um, a big deal. Don't worry about my arm. So Nothing he happened. he like taped a spoon to his arm <laughs> as like a as like a thing to keep his arm straight. Yeah, that that's that is messed up. So he put a spoon there and then taped it, and then he was he got his three looking up to the president. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, messed yeah, up. It, it was really awkward, but like, gosh. Yeah, well, I, most yeah. people are rejoicing that House of Cards is back. Yeah, it's amazing. Good, good for you guys. Good for you guys. <sighs> Great show. Um, uh, when you said, oh my gosh, yeah. <gasps> and then you said House of Cards is back. I was like, I did not expect that. I honestly expected you to say, yeah. Parks and Rec's finale was fantastic. That too. Yeah. <laughs> Parks um, and Rec was... So Monday, no no Better Call Saul. Tuesday, no, no Flash because it's freaking gone until March 17th. Yep. But parks and rec finale i expected there to oh. be two episodes but instead there was one episode that was 45 minutes which yep. was great um like seriously it's it's it wrapped everything up so well yeah it was, it was a great but i think the best ending would have to be freaking uh jerry gary barry <laughs> barry oh my gosh <laughs> The, the, as soon as you said that, I spelled it in my head like B E A R Y because of Teddy and Persona. But um, <laughs> Barry, <laughs> Gary is the uh, yeah, it's scary. Yeah, he his ended great. Yeah. His ended great. Like he had, a, he had the best life ever. Yeah, he had the <laughs> best life. I don't know how everyone at the office keeps picking on him. He's such a nice guy. I love how at one point they go, Tom and Leslie go and ask him for a favor, and he's on the phone. And he's like. Bill, how the heck are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so much. He's just such a nice guy. Dude, freaking, uh, what's his face? Uh, Bill Murray was in there as the, um, de the dead mayor. Oh, that was so good. Was that and this episode video. or was that last one? I thought it was no. the one before the finale. Okay, it might have been the one before that. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I think but, we yeah. talked about that in the last was episode, so, but that was, that was. Yeah, thing. but still, he, still, he was there. He Bill was Murray. the dead mayor. I love Still that. Cool. It was freaking great. <laughs> if there is any blame to take, it was your fault. It's your fault. <laughs> but if there's any credit to give, I will humbly take it. <laughs> okay. But Parks and Rec was seriously great. Um, yeah. One of the best finales ever. Sozin's Comet is the best finale of all time. Yeah. It's... And then after that, all the finales that are good sort of fall in a, two, in a second place tie. You know, yeah. like video game high school was freaking great. It was, it was perfect, but the freaking Parks and Rec finale was perfect. And the office finale was perfect. And psych finale was perfect. So like all these people that know how to do a finale just fall in a very close second. 
only to be trumped by Avatar because it's the best show yeah. of all time. So just, just saying. <laughs> but um, yeah, this, you can't really rank finales because this if they do it well, they do it well. You know, if they do it right. horribly, they do it horribly. It's either great or horrible. There's no in between in the um, right in finales. That's but true. Barks and Rec. Arrow on Wednesday. Which, oh, wait, no, 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 no. We missed The Walking Dead. <laughs> Just like last week. We talked about The Walking Dead last. I, I'm going to try and go oh. in order. So The Walking Dead right. actually happened. What what happened on The Walking Dead? It's been a while. The, the dude, the, they oh, followed. Oh, yeah, the gay dude. Yeah, the gay dude. He's and gay. Eric. Um, yeah, Aaron. Wait, isn't it Aaron and Eric? Oh, the, oh. the first guy's Aaron, isn't he? Aaron, yes. yeah. Yeah. That's really weird. <laughs> Aaron and Eric. Aaron, but, Eric. um, yeah, so they basically, like, go to the place. Whoa, hiccup. The community. community. Yeah. yeah. And they, they That's try to go there. And then crap gets real at night somehow. And they, 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 they get all spread out. They go to a barn for the night. And then the episode ends with them going to the community. So tonight we'll be able to see what's the next. Yeah. Or they get the typical, like, oh, no, it's not working anymore. And then we have to get off the road. Yeah. yeah. That's... And then something happens while they're going towards the community. Yeah, no, they, they opened it at the end of last episode. Remember, they were, like, at the door. Mm-hmm. And they were like, all right, right, time to open it. And they opened the door and the light uh, yeah, streams Rick in. And, seeing, and... Rick was hear, hearing the babies. He was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what Rick Grimes did. He heard yeah. it and he just went, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, embracing his uh, European <laughs> uh, ancestry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you saying that's what Europeans do? <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Um... Racism. The uh, Scots do. The Scots? I, I figured You know they... he's Scottish. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what he I'm is. Dying. Like, probably just... Yeah, he's he's definitely British. But British. I, I think he's... Yeah, I think it's British. But... So, yeah, The Walking Dead was good. Um, We have another one. T- honestly, I'm really excited about tonight's. Um, Most of the... Most Sundays, I'm just like, Oh, yeah, The Walking Dead's on. Cool, I'll watch it. And then it's good, but like I don't know, I'm really, I'm really, like into it now. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, yeah. Hundred. Yeah. Oh, yo, snap! Yeah, let's talk about the one hundred and then Arrow because Arrow was shocking. <laughs> um, yeah, the one hundred was great. It was really, really good. They, like, oh, we didn't talk about it until this is us talking about it for the first time together. Yeah, it was. What happened? It was really the... good. Yeah, so basically Bellamy destroyed the acid fog. The yep. in the end, this is what happened. Bellamy destroyed the acid fog and the army moved in. The best freaking part about that episode was at the end, where the the president was like, What else do we have? And he's like the doors. That's it. All we have now is the doors, sir. And he's like <laughs> And he's like, We're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, he's like, it's all over. But uh seriously so good. I'm so excited. There's two more episodes of the 100. I'm so excited. To, so this week we're gonna see the penultimate. You know, we're gonna see them like getting to the door, maybe fighting some. But then the finale is gonna get real. We're gonna have somebody die probably. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be. They're gonna probably oh, kill dude. all the mountain men. I bet. I bet Lexa dies. That's that's what I would guess to be totally honest. Oh no. <laughs> I like Alexa. Come on. She's Big awesome. moment for a lot of people. I didn't give one flying fart, but Clark and Lexa kissed. So that yeah. Was a thing. And then freaking uh, Clark was like the man of the rest. <laughs> I'm not ready. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. What was funny was that Lexa seemed like freaking, like she had been holding that in for like right. ever. Like, gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> yeah, the 100 was awesome. Is there any other really good moment? Oh, Bellamy didn't actually turn it off. Like, they, yeah, they got actually, there. 
Yeah, but they he remotely got, he had the uh, welder thing. Yeah, they remotely messed with the the screen yeah. so that it looked like he was turning it off, and then he found an actual pH scale on the on yeah, the thing. And he was like, off. "Okay." So they started coming at him, I and he had this yeah. yeah, he had this flamethrower that he just turned on and left on, it's burning through a uh, oxygen tank. Yeah. Yeah. And then he jumped in a vent and ran, and then, oh. <laughs> I, I honestly, as soon as that happened, where he he looked over and saw the scale, and the and the thing is, is that the army was marching into the zone where right. the acid fog is. So yeah, he looked over. Also, I just want to point out what the frick is up with this hair. Right now. <laughs> Do you see this? Like yeah. it's been like this all day. It's just like this part just is like now nah, I'm going the other way. Anyways, but um. <laughs> So, when that happened, he looked over, he scratched off the dust on the scale, and the pH was still at the whatever level that was bad. <clears throat> and then, he's like, oh, crap. And I literally got up from my chair, and I was like, come on! Can anything good happen in this show? And then it did. Right. <laughs> I was like, really? They're all going to get freaking... I fully expected them to all get hit with the acid fog, just like with the missile, and then, oh, we're recovering, and... Because we keep getting hit by crazy stuff. What was there anything else that was really awesome, like in like a moment? All that stuff is around the end. I'm trying to think what happened at the beginning. Did uh, Monty and stuff do anything? That's what they're I'm trying like, to think of. I don't hiding. think they actually were in the episode, to be totally honest. No, I think yeah, they're they still were. in hiding. Oh, they're Raven, hiding. Raven and Wick. Oh, Raven and him. <laughs> <laughs> they uh yeah. when freaking they freaking uh Bellamy needed help, but no. Yeah. Um That's Their about it for the one hundred one killed. Yeah, they could have. They could have. But, but Bellamy saved the day. Yeah, I don't know what to I don't think there was anything else. I think that was it. But it's still a freaking awesome show. So uh, Shogi's watch getting it. better. Watch it. Like, it's really good. Top three. Yeah, it's really good. Um, Arrow uh, was very Arrow interesting. Was cool. Very interesting. Um, it was great. It was great as usual, but as usual, the characters don't make any sense a lot of the time. And but the ending was really, really, really awesome. I didn't expect the ending yeah. like at all. They so they Diggle and Oliver go to uh, Nanda. Parbat? Yes. Yeah. And basically Raish's League of Assassins headquarters. So they go there, and the whole time, th this is around the end of the episode, basically Thea sent Malcolm off to Raish, and Raish took him. They kept the, the Arrow team actually captured uh, Nyssa. She's like in a little prison in the foundry, and they... Um, Oliver and Diggle went to rescue Malcolm because they need his help, and they so they that's about the main premise of the thing until it gets to the end with the awesome, cool thing that happened. The rest yeah. of it was sort of you know it was, it was cool, but not much happened. Um, they go. <laughs> what freaking weirded me out? Like this doesn't make any sense. So they go and so Oliver can't kill. But he'll, you know, Diggle can kill. Sure, why not? We'll let Diggle kill, yeah. even though he's part of the team. But you know, it's cool. I'm and then sure Oliver shoots a flaming that... arrow at somebody, and he goes up yeah. in flames. I'm like, yeah. you, you just killed that guy. And then he kept shooting arrows. I mean, I can forgive arrows to like the shoulder because he does that a lot, even when they're because that's right. not kill. It's like to the shoulder down or like the leg or something but it seemed like he was going here like to the guy going heart. ham yeah dude. but he probably wasn't but i don't know why that whole scene was like they're just it seemed like they were just murdering people to get in the middle right and and the whole time i was like this is too easy it was way too easy mm -hmm. because i and of course there was a trap yeah i told him i literally typed this to eric i was like I have no idea what's going on. Why are they letting them get in this easily? This is the, this is a See, building full. Batman. Yeah, this is a building full of people that trained Batman. The building full of Batmans. Why right. are they that kill 
Batman that kill. So, like, mm. they're just letting them in, basically. And then right when I typed that, the, they Batman was like... kill people, too. Yeah, uh, and then right when I typed that, they trapped them, and I was like, there it is. There it is. But, um... Why would, why would they... Why would Raish, like, sacrifice that many people just to trap them? That thing is just... Because he's Raish. Honestly, at first I thought that, and then I was like, he's the League of Assassins. He don't care. He doesn't care if people die. But, um... Then... So Diggle and oh snap! I just punched my monitor basically. <laughs> I just poked it. it... <laughs> Anyways, so Diggle and um, Oliver are locked up in chains, um, Fifty Shades of Green basically, and they, uh. yeah, yeah, I stole that from someone I don't know who, but then no. they, Diggle asks Oliver if he ever got married again, if Oliver wanted to be his best man. Oh whoa, my camera went out there for a second. And, the, and Oliver was like, of course. If we weren't locked up in these chains, of course. And then <clears throat> Oliver goes in front of Raish and he's like kneeling there. And he was like, just don't kill Diggle. And then Raish <clears throat> started talking about how like everything has an end. Everything good comes to an end. Even me. And then he was, I was like, is he gonna? And then he did. He was like, I'm not gonna kill you. Anymore. I'm gonna train you. So. Oh. I, 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 and that was it. They ended the episode there. So I have no idea what they're gonna do. No idea. No idea. But Eric, where did when did they uh, push it back to? Hmm? When did they push it back to? Uh, month. Yeah, they pushed it. I I thought you knew that. They pushed it back to March eighteenth. So yeah, the same. It's I the same. Um, it's it. the same week of the Flash. It's coming back in exactly three weeks. So um, why? Why do they do this to us? Why? At least the 100 should, isn't taking yeah. a break. That's good. Yeah. But seriously, come on. What are they doing? Oh, so this Wednesday we should stay up and watch the 100. Instead of, uh... Yeah. Yeah, instead of Arrow, since Arrow's not going to be there. Yeah. I no. don't know why they're delaying stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense. But. For what? iZombie or whatever? Yeah, iZombie. Uh, I don't know. They're like. I even, knew that was a, I didn't even know that was a CW thing. Like, I thought that was, like, some other. I don't know. But, like, um. Is it really that <coughs> big that they're pushing? It I shouldn't guess. be. I'm, I told Eric, I was like, if they were pushing these shows back for that, I'm not going to watch iZombie. Yeah. I don't get it. Oh yeah, actually, I it's something else I watch. We we should probably like hurry up with the stuff we watched. Well, um, I also I watched the first episode of Z Nation. Absolutely sucks. Don't watch it. Okay <laughs> then. There we go. And that's really saying something because me and Eric watched Sword Art Online for a while, so that's yeah. saying something. If we like him, it, it, if he says the show sucks, but. Um, I mean, like, there, it's weird because there's, like, five actors I knew in, like, the first, like, or the, well, the first episode. There was, like, five actors I knew. And then, like, they all died. Okay? <laughs> that is, that's dumb. Um, so, that's what What's we've been on? watching. We're done with that. We're, mo we're moving yeah. on to actual, actual news. The main thing I want to discuss is... The topic that comes after this one. So, Batman Arkham Knight has come back from the ESRB with an M rating. Yep. Which is very interesting. Because, like, the article here... Yeah, it's gonna kill. Is, oh, gosh, no. But um, the article here is basically, like, Rocksteady didn't expect this. Like, they, it was a shock to them that it came back with an R rating. They were like, oh, we were just, you know, gonna, we thought it would just come back like normal, but... No, I came back with a yeah. M. So that's a thing. I don't. Nobody really knows why. Um... Oh snap! Well, I, I hope they take that. advantage of this rating. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I. It's got to be for some good reason, like some really good scenes or something with like the Arkham Knight. Maybe to like establish mm -hmm. him as a cool vic villain. But the people sets off and stuff. Yeah. But, like, I doubt it's just going to be, like, here, more swear words and more blood and stuff nah. than usual. It'll probably be the same type of 
probably the just same like amount. really grown brutality. Yeah, there's probably just gonna be a couple be, of. Scenes. Could be an environment like that's really bloody and like Maybe. messed up. Who knows? I feel like it's just gonna be one really intense scene. That's right. Or one or two. That's like really Could really be. legit. Um. So, yeah, that's a thing. Prepare your booties for when that comes out on June 2nd, two days before E3, I believe. Uh, <laughs> so, let's see. Eric, what do you, what do you want to discuss? I'm curious. Um, there are a couple. Oh, of there hasn't been really anything this week that's been, like, like banging to me. But, um, uh, uh, oh, that's weak. What? <laughs> nothing nothing go on um let's look at these uh top 25 ign top 25 what <laughs> mate oh ps4 games my computer like cut out yeah, for a second. yeah. so yeah the, I, this is what i really wanted i thought would be fun to discuss because yeah. this looks i like lists yeah that i i like I don't know. I like discussing this because, um, do you want to start from number twenty-five and just go? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Twenty-five. We should we should switch out. I'll say twenty-five. You say twenty-four. But like, um, I I still want to say something about these games. Yeah. I've played some of these. Have you played uh -huh. The Evil Within? Yes, I have. Oh snap! So, um, <laughs> you played The Evil Within? Do you think I it have is... it? Do you... I it. Do you... oh, you haven't beaten um, it, but you played it. No, I haven't beaten it, but it's really fun. I, I like the game, and it's. I, I hope there's more to it in the future, like another I, another, um, release. Yeah. In its series. So or you it's think? Really do you think it deserves the twenty-five spot? Yeah, I mean, okay. it was. It wasn't like anything. Oh my gosh, uh, brain, brain so, explosion! Uh... But like, it was really good. It had solid graphics. Solid gameplay and a really good story. So. Yeah. Um, <coughs> it was uh, scary. Very yeah. scary. Okay, so what's 24? Mate T. Um, Grim Fandango. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Grim Fandango Remastered. I have not played it, but I bought it. Because I bought it, and then I heard so much about it not having, like, a hint system, and the puzzles are ridiculously hard if you've never played it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. So, but then I thought, I might just go through it with a guide. Somebody said, like, even if you do go through with it through it with a guide, it's something that you should experience. So I was like, I might do that. I might sit down one day with a guide and go through it. Yeah. Um, let's see. But then again, it's like, what's the fun if you need a guide? I've right. used a guide I since I was like in second grade. I played Spider Man one and I needed a guide. I needed a guide on like Lego games on my <laughs> DS and oh man, I played this one Zelda game on my DS that was awesome. I don't know if I ever beat that. Curious about that. <laughs> um number twenty three is the Wolf Among Us. You oh, haven't oh played gosh. this, but you like this. I I love that is an amazing story based uh Tales Hall game. Um he doesn't like it because he doesn't touch it. He hasn't looked at it. I'm not going to buy the game. I, I don't have an interest in it. I don't know. Because it's amazing. Yes. I do not have an interest in the game because it's amazing. Exactly. It, amazing games, I'm like, nah, I don't do that. I'm like, no, nah, yeah, get out of here. Exactly. Dude, it's like, it's just as good as Walking Dead game. It really is. <laughs> but it's in but a anyway. completely different universe and it's a completely different story. So? so? I don't care about fairy tales. What does that mean? It means I don't care about the universe. Like, I looked at The Walking Dead. I'm like, that's zombies. I want to know about that. I want to see what's in that. This, I'm like, I don't really care. The guy's smoking. He beats people up. He beats wolves up or something. I don't know. I don't, he is does a not wolf. sound. Oh, that's the better. Big, bad wolf. That's a lot better. He's that, the big bad wolf. He's that, legit. That doesn't sound interesting. It sounds dumb. How is it dumb? It's the it freaking, dumb. it's the coolest freaking universe I've seen. It's, it's like the legit uh, fairy tales like that yeah, were turned into little fairy kid fairy stories. stories. Yeah, I I don't care about fairy tales. Are you thinking about little kid stories? Or are you thinking like the gr gruesome, uh, and bloody ones from like when they were actually created? Well, both. 
I just don't like. No, no, push the kid one out. <laughs> this well, is all. I've never... Well, yeah, I know, but it's based off of the kid ones. It's based off of the big bad wolf. Like I don't, a big bad wolf that smokes. That sounds really, really dumb. I'm sorry. I no, mean, I'm not. No, no I'm not gonna. It's I've looked at reviews. I've even watched some people play through it, and I'm like, I wouldn't be interested in this. No, you I, would love it. I would not. I will. I. I, f I feel like I have to do what Colin Moriarty did, and I have to buy a game and platinum it just to be like, I didn't like this game. Because, like, I've done everything Dude, I can without them. actually playing that game. I have done everything I can. I've looked up reviews. I've watched people play through it. With And I can tell you that I would not be interested in that game. But you won't take Mystery. my word for it unless I buy it and play it. And I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to be interested in it. So... <laughs> I'm just buy saying. me the game and i'll play it and then be like oh. i didn't like it <laughs> so yeah take that uh, next Suck one is it. tomb raider definitive edition on ps4 oh yeah um i've played it it's amazing have you played it on ps4 i've, I've yes i rented it and i played oh, it on nice. ps4 oh it's really good oh yeah you did I love, I love the tomb raider series i wish freaking rise of the tomb raider was on the next on ps4 yeah. but i'm probably gonna get PS pc because Microsoft sucks. <sighs> but um, Thanks. yeah. But um, I um, I bought this game on sale for like fourteen bucks. So I I'm, I'm still I'm I'm ready to play this. I will very soon. Um. Oh, dude, I was gonna go get the order today because I was in a place yeah. that was near a red box. So I was like, I could just drive for like 60 I'm seconds gonna go and then rent do one right there for five days. No, probably two days. <laughs> so yeah, I was going to go rent it and play it. And then I was like, this is the end of a weekend. Why would I do that on a Sunday? So I think on this Friday, I'm going to drive right. in and get it. So then on Sunday I'll return it. So, right. So next week I'll actually be able to talk about the order and what I think of it. Um, mm. number 21 is Minecraft. Minecraft is still an it's awesome game. Yeah. Uh, I was I, really tempted to jump on back. PC recently. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just I think, like... Yeah, so am I. Like, seriously. I I think we'll come back to it, like, someday yeah. when it has, like, so much more updates to it. Minecraft It'll is... It'll be great. Just, Minecraft, like a lot of things, is one of those things that Timeless. you can't... Yeah, but, like, the experience that I had with Minecraft, I can't replicate. I'm not going right. to be able to replicate that. Jumping into Minecraft again, I'm not going to have as much fun as when I did for the first right. time in the first year. So. Oh, I mean, I remember when I illegally cracked that game the first time and I got killed by an Enderman. <laughs> oh, man, I was scared. I remember my first uh, world, my first life, I guess you can say. I, I jumped in and I found this. Oh, dude, I remember this almost exactly. Like, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to jump yeah. in and even remember slightly the world that I make. But right. um, I I remember the first one, like, almost exactly. I remember this little right. door I, I made. And then I started mining oh. down, and there was this giant cavern. And it to this day, like, it probably wasn't that big. It just seemed, since it was the first giant cavern I'd seen in Minecraft, I was like, this mm -hmm. is huge. So in my mind, yeah. it's still, like, giant. So. Right. And then... Like, you <laughs> A creeper I remember my I remember my first world like at the back of my hand. I had a stu a two story house and I had a farm in the back and the, the second second story had like glass uh, windows. It was all like new age kind of stuff. Nice. The first floor of my chest. <laughs> nice. I was still a noob, so I didn't have anything I needed. <laughs> I I don't know uh, what happened to that world. Oh wait, no, it was still that world. I just went farther away. But on that world, I went farther away eventually, and I made, like, this nice little house and this. And then I accidentally burned the house down. It was great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, when yeah. I was it's running at, like, thing. 12 FPS. Yep, same. I was about to say the same thing. It was I, bad. Back when I played the... Uh, I had an old computer. FPS. That's what made me actually start looking into getting a computer. So. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Minecraft. You're, you're a good game. Yeah. Lots of good memories. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. You so. can talk about this one. <laughs> oh, wa number 20 is Watch Dogs. Freaking. Watch Doge. Watch Doge. Um, I still have yet to beat Watch Dogs. But I honestly didn't hate my time with that game. Like, I played it for, like, I don't know, 10, 12 hours. I, I, no, probably not that. Probably, like, 8, 10. But I, 
I didn't beat it. Like, I got distracted by other games, and I've yet to go back to it because I'm like, I have too many other games to play to waste time on a game that's, in my mind, probably like a 6.57, which is, I would rate it as a good game. But, like, mm-hmm. there are lots of other games that I can play right now that are great. So, I mean, it, it, I okay. really didn't hate the game. I feel like a sequel will be really good. If they right. if they announce a sequel, I'll go back and finish it because I will get the sequel, and it'll probably be a lot better. So, I, I'm not sure if it deserves twenty. To be totally honest, yeah, I don't know. Definitely, Minecraft and Tomb Raider should be above it. Like they really thought Watch Dogs was better than Tomb Raider. I don't know, but um, yeah, I, I don't know if I agree with that spot. But it's a good game. Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. I don't have an opinion on it because I I got so hyped for it and I just I didn't like the, I say this every time we talk about this. It just and I right say when I it hate released. this story every yeah. time. And I, uh, <sighs> the story doesn't make sense. It never does. Because <laughs> you're always like, I got so hyped for it. Then they pushed the release back, and then I didn't care. That's because you didn't look anything about it. I looked. I didn't care either. I looked up trailers, and I was like. Oh wow, this looks really awesome. I'm gonna buy yeah, this, right. and I bought I, it, and I had a good time. And, no, you didn't. But you always say that you didn't look at any trailers. You're just like, eh, I lost my hype. <laughs> so that was it. Yeah, that's why I don't like look at crap like that anymore. I don't know. I got my hype because I looked at a trailer. Yes. And I bought anyway, it, and I had a good time. Nineteen, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare. Dang, bro. You sound so sad about that game. (laughs) You're like, Uh Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare. I mean, (laughs) sure, it's a a big improvement on the past few uh, installments, in my opinion, but um, it just didn't last because of Destiny's bigger um, shadow. Yeah. I mean, seriously, adva- I think Advanced Warfare fully deserves the spot. It's one of my favorite Call of Duties in a while. That's all I have to say. Exo- they're doing a lot of good stuff. I will say. Got the Exo Zombies rolling out. I've played like three hours of the campaign, and it's really awesome. Yeah, I, I still really like the campaign. I want to go back and finish it. it. I'm going to beat it sometime, so I don't know. Number 18 is The Swapper, which is a game that was <laughs> free on uh, PS Plus. It wasn't... Did you ever play it, by the way? No. Yeah, I downloaded well, it and I was like... Eh. Well, then don't be like, what? Because <laughs> a lot of people like that game. I just didn't... I don't know. I didn't... It didn't click with me. It, it was very odd. I, just thought I of, felt I just like thought it would it be a game that, that Of would all like games, that. the Swapper yeah. was above, like, Call of Duty. And... Yeah, that's true. Oh, but, uh... I thought... It seemed... Now that I think about it, I feel like it would be a game that you would like, to be totally honest. It's... Hmm. I don't know. It's very puzzly, but it's it's a really weird atmosphere. A lot of people are like, it's a it's a nice little atmosphere. It's got a good story laced in. And I'm like, I, I don't know why. I did not care about the story, and then the, the atmosphere was like weird to me. I don't know. But that's mm. the swapper. What's number seventeen? Far Cry 4. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Far Cry 4 is number 17. Um, I, have, I, have... I I downloaded it so I could play with you guys. I never got to. I still have yet to beat it. Um, you know, the, the Karat thing or whatever? Yeah, I, I still haven't. Apparently, it's just as good as Far Cry 3. Maybe yeah. better. Maybe a little worse. I, I really liked it. I just, to be honest, I really didn't care about the story. Like, I do not care about finishing the story. Nothing about the story, nothing about the character interests me to keep, like, to finish. The world is awesome, and it's really fun to go around and complete right. stuff. But, like, I have too many other games. But I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back when I have some time. But it, I just I didn't care about the story. But the, yeah. the gameplay and the world is really awesome. Yeah. But... Velocity 2X is number 16. Oh. That game is so freaking good. It's awesome. Did you ever beat uh, level 50? I did. <laughs> I know. I... I beat level 50, and I have, like, up to number 8 play, on perfect. I tried it perfect. But it. see, <laughs> you can't do that, because eventually you start getting the ones that are, like, ridiculous, and you just got to, you know, beat it and move on so that you can do the new levels, you know? 
Yeah, and yeah. and eventually you yeah. get to where you need more XP to do the other levels, so you mm-hmm. can go back and perfect old ones, literally to do that. I have the first eight perfected. Um, I have like the first twenty perfected or something. Oh <laughs> snap! I have like, I did nine, I think. I don't know. Dang, dude. You yeah, spent about like, the same, you, did, you uh-huh. spent about the same time as me then, but you just kept going on perfects instead yeah seriously of just going oh well go to the next level <laughs> all right then but velocity 2x is a really freaking good game great if, game. if that game wasn't so freaking hard i would platinum it but it's really difficult yeah it really is eric we can talk a little bit about uh number 15 okay. yeah 14 yes the uh the mmo yeah final fantasy 14 uh, a realm reborn or yeah yeah that's number 15 oh, yeah. we, we played the we played the, the demo beta. beta or whatever yeah we played the beta yeah. and it we wasn't it, bad. it was fun i liked it yeah I, and i, I, I can see why it's doing good i can it's, see why it's doing good what's crazy is that like this is the first mmo well no it's probably not the first they probably got like an all-star team to make this but like right. i don't know it just started. It's doing really good. I haven't heard any good thing bad about it. Like people who play this right. really like it. So it's it's apparently a really good MMO. So Yeah, and I, I had fun with it. There's a lot of like weird arbitrary side quests in the beginning, but I'm sure once you get past those, it, the the combat's fun. Um I'm sure the raiding and dungeons are cool too. So Yeah. So okay. we gotta move a little bit quickly because I have to leave yeah. in That's cool. 10 minutes all right we can we can start like just saying like stuff uber fast okay (laughs) say number 14 then i'll say 13 i'll say like one sentence about each okay go Uh, flower flower is a cool little soothing relaxing game that i've yet to play but i want to 13 yeah Welcome Welcome Melee. Melee, super turbo championship edition freaking awesome game i'm going through it on hard mode because i want that trophy Sounds and then awesome. gonna get all the collectibles eventually but i have too many other games to play gosh dang it yeah infamous second son Number awesome 12. game platinum <laughs> it it's pretty good platinum i need to platinum it Crap. yeah you really <laughs> should it's really good it's it's freaking infamous second son is awesome we've talked about it a yeah. lot number 11 yeah, assassin's creed 4 mm-hmm. black f- f- flag <laughs> <laughs> black f- flag flag oh, great Eric game awesome game. i love yeah, um, I like it a lot because I went to it knowing that it's a pirate game, and I really enjoy it, so blah, blah, blah. I enjoy it now knowing that it is a pirate game. I did not originally, but yeah, I like understand. it as it is, is it's a really fun, like, oh, I love it's doing it. Collect- There's a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff yes. to do. And Rogue- multiplayer. So it's multiplayer, unlike Unity with its co-op. Oh. Oh, uh, oh, number 10, Rogue Legacy. Rogue Legacy. <laughs> awesome game. Moving on. Awesome game. Hard. I think our foaming at the Very mouth difficult. can, you know, express how how much yeah. we liked it. Dude, like, Rogue Legacy is great. Free on PS4 this yeah, month. freaking download yeah. it. Oh, wait. No, it's March 1st. Wait, last month. Crap. No, download G- this. G- no, it, it'll still be there Monday when this goes live. Go download it. Go, go. Oh, do yeah, it, you re- beautiful beast. It. Okay, go. Four. Number 9. Great game. Uh, Rayman Legends, awesome game. Played the demo on PS or Xbox 360. Amazing game. Rayman Play. is an awesome franchise. Like everything is really, really cool. Rayman, like the platforming is awesome. It all flows. Yeah. I had Rayman Origins on my Vita, and it was a lot of fun. Number eight, Child of Light. Child of Light. I bought I bought that on sale for like six I bucks. Played. I am Looks excited cool. to play it. It is number eight Buy on Ubisoft. the top PS4 list. That's got to be good. Seven. Yeah. Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition. Played cool a lot game. Of that. Lots of grindy. Lots of grindy elements. Yeah. It's cool. I played a lot cool. of it before I started to like fall asleep. Got tired of it in Act it. 2. Act 3. No, we got yeah. we stopped in Act 3. Yeah. I literally I, was playing and started falling asleep while playing, so I was like, no, I can't yeah. do this. Number six, transistor. Really good. Also free. Um download that. I've played it. It's cool. Download yeah. it. Really, Tomorrow. really you have good. Till, oh, you have till Tuesday to download it. Yeah. So do with that. <sighs> Number five, you gotta flip the page, son. Middle Earth Shadow Mortar. Awesome cool game. game. I've uh, I've heard it. it's it, really great. It got a lot of game of the years from almost like everybody. This is where we get to top yeah. five. So 
But we'll, yeah, after we blow through this, we'll see if we agree. I can go a little bit long. Um, number four is Grand Theft Auto V on the PS4. Yeah. The PS4. With that um, first person and all that? Yeah, it's got all the new stuff. It's Honestly, I don't normally... I have never played a GTA game. I like it. That's about all I can say about it. I, yeah. I don't love it, the but I, I like what you can do. There's some cool stuff in there. Anyway. Golf. <laughs> yeah, the golf is fun. The golf is fun. Rezo Gun. Rezo Gun is the Great. number three best PS4 game, which, which I honestly I can, not sure if I, I agree can, with, but I, I, I agree with I it being on the list. The but not number yeah. three, but freaking Resogun is awesome. Resogun's great. It's great. Yeah. But honestly, I feel like it's for a certain type of people where, like, if you're really good at that, you'll enjoy it. But, like, me and you suck at that game. Yeah. So, I don't know if we ever beat it, to be fully honest. No. I don't think I ever beat World 5. I got to 5, but I don't think I ever yeah. beat it. Number two is Dragon Age Inquisition. Oh, you get to say number one in a minute. Oh, snap. Look at you. Oh, yeah. Number two yeah. is Dragon Age Inquisition. I really need to play more of that game. I think when I'm yeah, so going to go back to that. I think, I think if we put more time into it, we would enjoy it. I just, just like Persona, quit, dude. Like, because I my stopped. My sister has put more time into it than me. Dang. Like, I stopped at hour 15 in Persona. And then when I came back, I realized, like, how much more fun it is when you get deeper and deeper in. Like, there's more mm -hmm. complex things. And so uh, maybe since I stopped at probably hour 10 in Dragon Age, I can go back and see all the cool stuff. So I played, like, three hours. Uh, yeah. yeah. Drum roll. Uh, the Last of Us Remastered. Hey. Number one. One of the greatest on the games of PS4. all time. So. Seriously. Of our generation. Definitely one of the greatest games from so, Naughty Dog. Yeah. So I agree with this list mostly. Let's we don't have time to dissect it fully, but number like the first the top five <coughs> I would put The Last of Us. I would honestly put Dragon Age deserves number two. Um Well if you if you look Grand at the Death bottom Auto there's deserves there's number four. Vote. You can Middle vote, Earth no. Yeah. I'll I might do that later. Middle Earth I think deserves to take Resogun's Mm. Yeah. I might switch out Middle Earth and Resogun and put Middle Earth at three and Resogun at five, and no, Resogun at six, Infamous Second Son at five, Middle Earth at three. That's what I'm doing. That's yeah. that's my top five list. Hmm. So yeah, awesome stuff. Um, quickly, two items of news. Next time, I, you know, I'm going to try a new format, Eric. I think next time yeah. we might do the news first and then ramble on about TV for the last. Yeah, because like we do the news minutes. faster. Yeah. And then we can just ramble because we can, ra we... we can cut our rambling off pretty yeah. quickly. So, and so. Um, the, the um, news I could talk about for longer, but I don't normally have time. So I think we'll do the All news right. first next time. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So GTA Online heists are finally has a release date. So March 10th on consoles, which is next Tuesday, not the Tuesday next day after you see this, but next Tuesday. <clears throat> and then April 14th for PC. And then quickly, very important, they are making an Arrow show. Like, the producers, you know, Mark and Greg and all them and Andrew, yeah. don't fully know the last names. Their last names are complicated. But they're making a spinoff show. You know how we thought we would get an Adam show and a fire, uh, Firestorm show, maybe. We're getting a mm -hmm. spinoff show that's like an all-star show. It The cast, according to the site, the CW and the producers, this is an article by Craig Brine, or Byron, Byron. Um, according to the site, the CW and producers of Flash and Arrow are putting together a superhero team-up show that would star Brandon Routh's Ray Palmer, Victor Garber's Martin Stein, uh, Wentworth Miller's Captain Cold, and weirdly, Katie Lutz, whose Sarah Lance was yeah. killed on Arrow earlier this year. Killed. Killed. She's, she's dead. Killed. Yeah. Dead. Dead. So I don't. Killed dead. <laughs> I don't really get what this. And also, and then they put in parentheses. Also, Martin Stein, but no Ronnie Raymond. Yeah. So, I have no idea what to think about this. This, this feels weird. 
but all over I, my body. Oh dang, bro! <laughs> oh snap! I don't want to know what feels weird there. Anyways, but um, <laughs> over my brain. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that works better. But weird, weird <laughs> news. Really, really weird news. Especially the Katie Lots thing. Don't know what that's about. She's dead. No. She's dead, dead. And like somebody said, I can't remember who said this. Like, in a lot of comic book shows, they can be dead. And, then, you know, they're back to life. Oh, she was dead. Like, she was in yeah. the ground. We saw her body as an autop- as Like, they were doing an autopsy at one point. Right. She is not coming back to life. So. So. Don't. Um, unless it's set in, like, a different universe? I have no idea. Well, the same universe, but, like, a different, like, oh, here's one incarnation of it and here's another incarnation of the universe like, i have no idea what they're gonna do maybe I'm, they just I'm throw everything excited. in the lazarus pit and think they come back to life yeah uh, <laughs> i'm excited i guess um so yeah that's, that's this thing. has been the podcast if you're watching and you normally watch let us know what you think about putting the um the tv stuff at the end First, or the beginning, or yeah, at, the yeah, at the end is what we are considering. Because we can talk, we can talk about stuff in the beginning. It's uh, it is exactly time for me to go. So, Eric, yeah. do you have anything random to conclude our show today? Uh, yeah. To our viewers, they need gummy vitamins. Dude, freaking gummy vitamins are so Which good. Kind of you, which kind of do you use? Like they're like one a day. Oh my, uh, these Vita Fusion things, and they're like two a day, and they taste amazing. Yeah, it's the one... You know what's weird? The one a day, you have to take two a day. It's one a day brand, but you have to take oh my two gosh. a day. Just... But um, that really <laughs> killed me when I first read that. I was like, are you serious? But gummy I, vitamins I taste so freaking good. Like, yeah. what What the heck is wrong with me, dude? They taste so good, and I don't know why. <laughs> why do they taste so good? I feel like they taste better than, like, gummy bears. Right. I think I'm losing my mind. Anyway... <laughs> Um, <laughs> so yeah, E3's coming up. It's not really. This is March. PAX East is coming up. We can talk about PAX next time. Yeah. So yeah, another PAX is going to roll on by without us being there. You got to go. So. Yeah, I do. Uh, so <laughs> we'll talk to you guys next week. Next week. <laughs>